Hello, welcome back. So I started doing some clusters for the Boho Bliss journal. Um, I've got them all out here, probably out of screenshot. I started doing it and thought, well, why aren't I rolling the camera? Um, no plan in mind. Um, I have five of these sort of containers and one has scrapbook bits and pieces in it, leftovers. One has digitals, one has um, paper like this. So plus my little stamp. I've got stamps for Africa really but this is the one that I top up all the time and just leave on the table with me so we're just going to go ahead I'm just going to play um, I plan on just sort of slightly gluing and I'm going to run um, sewing machine up the end and then yeah add our little bits I did go and reprint some on a bigger scale because these these ones here I actually put two to a page if you get what I mean so we'll just run with it and see what happens but yep it's still raining here so we'll um hopefully we get a a decent week or hopefully it stops raining and rained itself out by Christmas time I'm completely not organized <clears throat> I hope everyone else is starting to um think about menus and things like that me nah I just said before next weekend I'm going to have to put the Christmas tree up decorations out and maybe look at a slight menu nothing fancy this year I didn't really do anything fancy last year either um just wasn't feeling it for some reason but yeah we'll see how it goes so these I'd already sort of figured out where I wanted to put them before I sort of thought well why aren't I filming I uh, filmed the last video and went to go put on and it said I didn't have enough storage so I had to race off up town and get a um, SDS card for my phone might be the start of getting a new phone I don't know maybe next year that will be one of the things so that's all I'm doing I'm just inking the edges putting it how I want it um, I'll do it that way and that's pretty much I, I don't really think about what I'm doing so I don't glue around there I might want to add like put show a bit of a label and once everything's stitched that will be my cluster so yeah clusters I tend to just sort of rip through rather fast because I find if I think too much then I start um, overthinking it and I think you can overthink things. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> still not sure whether I'm coming down with something or not. Um, I've had a headache for the last couple of days, or well, since I've had the infusion. Um, not bouncing back like I normally would, mind you. I suppose getting older that probably doesn't help. So, yeah, we'll um, see how it goes. Hopefully, whatever's happening disappears because I don't want it hanging around too much longer. I've got heaps of things to do. I've got um, my greenhouse. I went out there a couple of days ago and holy moly, have I got some produce in there. It's quite neat to see and, and even my blueberries are starting to come along quite nicely. So yeah. I definitely need a um need to start looking into a better setup because I'm relatively new to all this video um 
thing I'm sure I'm doing it a long way videoing it and then editing it in my phone and then downloading um, to YouTube it seems to take forever that's why I'm not keen on doing videos for like an hour I'd spend more time waiting uh, waiting for everything to download and get onto YouTube and yeah so see what I mean don't don't think Tracy just slap it on there I can always add things later which I plan on adding try and get it as straight as I can but that doesn't always help I think this might be Tim Holtz paper and then yeah so I'll do yeah a few of these sometimes I have four bits sometimes I have three bits I don't have any golden rule that I follow just depends what I pull out of the scrap basket I don't tend to add um, fabric or scrap bits of lace or anything like that occasionally I have done but it's not my go-to And of course, I will probably um, trim these at either end. Depends. I might put them on a pocket. I might just put them on the side of a page. Don't know yet. Just see how it goes. So you can see I'm quite slap happy with it as long as I've got all three pieces um, at some point that are that are meeting so that when I sew it um, then I'm happy I don't think I've done anything else. I did sew the signature in. I can't remember whether I showed that on one of the last videos. Um, I was a l wasn't a hundred percent happy with it. It looks like my cover isn't entirely rectangle. It, yeah, so you can sort of tell, but um, I think once it's decorated up, it will look fine. It's just me being fussy. Um, you gotta expect these things when when I guess they're handmade. So you can see how fast I, I, I do them. I'm like, like I said, I'm not particularly fussy on how I do them. Um, it's to me, it's just a bit of card behind a focal point. It's not about the card as long as the um, papers are matching.
I probably didn't even have to de-stress the edges, to be fair. <clears throat> so I'd love to hear um, any comments on how prepared you are for Christmas. Like, have we got people out there that are completely ready? Um, you know, do you have heaps of family come and visit? I come from a very small family unit so there's only a few of us um, so we have a relatively quiet Christmas every year but it's great we go out while everyone's busy with their families um, we take the dogs for a walk and pretty much got the the um, place down the road to ourselves, dogs love it, run around, um, or we've taken them to the beach um, one Christmas, and I love that. And then we just sort of relax around home. Do what we normally do, either in the garden or in my craft room. I'm not sure I need to add that or not. Perhaps I will. Right, so I'm going to pause, put that in there. I'm going to pause, I'm going to sew these down the middle. Um, I might still add little half labels here and there before I put find well find before I find which um, fussy cut I want to put on. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, back again. That didn't take long at all. So let's get these snipped apart. That's what I was going to show you too. Um, I've got a container that I keep all my dyed paper in and I um, showed someone the other day when they came around and they were like quite am amazed at, at the colours which I didn't even really think about. Um, so I have a shoe box and this is what I keep all my dyed papers in. So it's got quite an array of coloured paper. There's eco print paper in there. Um, I borrow, I borrow, I don't actually give them back but I pick plants from my neighbour's garden and eco, eco dye. Well, I've had a go at it. Can't say that um, I do it all the time. Right. So now the question is the question is do I want to add any labels? <clears throat> so, grab these. So, you've all seen this before, my ephemera holder. It's got um, a whole lot of labels in there. I need to restock some of them. Um, and then I found these set of four in my local um, op shop, hospice. So, haven't quite filled them. This is like my Christmas one. This is one that I've just got my butterflies in, but 
I'm not sure I'm going to keep them in here because I've got another storage system over there that has butterflies. Um, Tracy Fox labels so far and who are these? Calico College or Collage. And then we've got Roxy Creations labels in here. So I might just like label them here, Roxy Creations, do a uh, Tracy Fox, get rid of the butterfly and use someone else that I like. Um, not 100% sure, but we'll see, we'll see. So do we want, let's do this one first. So do we want like, Find. Let me do this. Unorganized as always, but that's the way I roll. One day I might get there where I'm organized enough, but mm, don't hold your breath. The day that I start planning is the day I will most likely not film anymore. Um, it, to me, if I plan something, it becomes a chore. Um, don't get me wrong, I actually have an idea in mind on what I will be doing, but nine times out of ten, I just go with the flow. So I don't want any labels that have got anything on it. However, do I want a stamp? Let's grab it. some paper. Do I want a stamp? So let's pick an image that we want. Maybe. Too big. She's pretty cute. So do we want a stamp behind her? No. She quite like him. Oh, isn't that cute? And she where's my little owl friend? Where are you? To go put you away for safekeeping. Possibly. There he is. There he is. Oh, look. How cute. Really, really like him. He's got a bit of orange in him. Do we put a little stamp behind him? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Do we put a little bit of a doily behind him? Or her? Yes. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right. So, let's get that glue down. It might in frame. Yes. Plink that down there. Now, what else was there? There was the owl and there was the rooster. I wonder where the rooster's gone. Because those are the two that I really wanted. So I haven't done yeah anything else on the journal other than Surin, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I 
love how that pink brings out the little pinkness in his little wings. Cool. What do you think? It's a little bit dark in this room because, like I said, it's raining, it's miserable outside. So this one. I, I really want to find the rooster. I don't know where he's gone. Do not know where he's gone. I do want the teacup and I do want the wings. Let's have a quick look around in here. I bet you I've taken them out, put them somewhere for safekeeping. Um, and now he's lost forever. And then when I finish the whole project, I'll find him. Which is generally what happens to me. Never mind, when I find him, I will do something else with him. Right, let's do... I think... Let's layer all these out. Lay these out. And then that way I can see what I've got. So I do want that. And maybe that. Do I want a pair of dream dogs? Mm, maybe not. Put that over there. Maybe. Like her. Like her. Too wide. Love that. Something tall and skinny. Maybe. Because I can always cut that down. Um, let's go this way. Nope. Although, like I've said before in previous videos, I actually don't mind if things stick out from that. So we might even leave leave that there. There's another teapot. Quite like how this colour here brings out the terracotta in the teapot. Um, and I quite like that. Did anyone um, find out, I did not go and research it, did anyone find out about that peace sign? Um, whether I had it upside down or not? Because I don't know. Right. So it's as easy as that. Like I said, I don't don't overthink it um, at all. So these will go on pockets, on maybe tucks, we'll see where I fit them. If they don't go on something like that, I'll just pop them on a page as a bit of decoration. But these colours are definitely me, very um, quite neutrally, not in your face, um, it's a lovely kit. Emma, you've done it again. I see there's a Nordic kit too, but it's more, I thought the backgrounds might have been quite cool for this, but um, it's more Christmassy. So I don't know if that would work. Um, what I might do off camera is I'm going to have to do some tags. So I might do a masterboard um, 
print some more of the kit out I'll probably just use uh, I might use uh, do paper master kit uh, master board and then decorate it up from there I had like I said I've reprinted all of these images but on a slightly bigger scale so I can make some tags and journal cards so I might use paper and then I might also use some paper from the main kit if I print it out so this image is sticking over I don't mind I think that looks completely fine So I'd love to see how your journal's going, Amanda. I know Amanda brought the same kit as me. Um, I'm always like absolutely stoked to see what other people are doing with with the same kit. Everyone has such different ideas. Um, and I take a lot of my inspiration of many of you ladies um, that I see your pictures posted all over Facebook. Booty. Got my eldest daughter coming for tea tonight, so that's nice. And then after work on Thursday, she's going to come pick me up. We're going to go uptown and get our nails done. I don't really have nails. I used to bite. I sort of bite them. I do and I don't, but they are starting to grow. Um, cool. How are we for time? Oh, yep, just about half an hour. Cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So really happy with those. And once again, like I said, the scrap paper was just. Um, is it going to get in focus? Uh, is just scraps. We'll just match them. Keep them pretty neutral. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah. I'll decide what I'm going to do next in the journal. I might carry on making more um, of these. I've got certainly got a lot to choose from. Um, so yeah. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a great time. Happy weekend or week, whatever day this is. Um, and I'll see you next time. See?